I'm, I'm a documentary photographer and uh, my big uh, interest is in how people live and how, pe uh, how people uh, live in general in all over the countries uh, in the world. But uh, since I'm based here in Tunisia, I, I was very much uh, interested in uh, uh, seeing how people live here, of course. Uh, I'm from Western Germany, uh, so uh, my book, this uh, uh, project uh, focuses on a very typical Soviet uh, house. Um, uh, so in Western Germany, we didn't have these kinds of houses, but if, 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 if I go to Eastern, Eastern Germany, uh, I would see very, very identical uh, houses. So uh, for me, this was also from a German perspective, very interesting to go inside one of those houses and uh, uh, see how, how uh, people live in, the, in this house. Uh, uh, this kind of, these kinds of areas are um, like from many, many foreigners, but also people in Tbilisi uh, would say about these areas like, oh, I never go there, or it looks so ugly, and so on and so on. So uh, I, I was very... Uh, I didn't have any opinion really, but I was just curious how things would be inside of the houses. So uh, that was my uh, uh, intention really to, to, just curiosity really to, to see what, 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 is the, uh, what do the insides look like. When I entered and spoke to the families, the most impressive thing was that everybody was telling me, first of all, it feels like a village, and it really does feel like a village, like everybody knows everybody. Uh, so the main focal point of these houses is always the shops downstairs. Everybody always meets in the shops and uh, uh, information and the whole social life goes through the shops. But then all the neighbors know each other. So this village, village type of life everybody really mentioned, like they feel so good uh, because it feels like in the village. They feel safe and protected and uh, like in a family. And the second thing, uh, uh, which was really surprising, uh, was that they said uh, they love the fresh air. This is not Tbilisi, this is a, a place with good air and uh, a you want. No, people, people were great. I mean, I drank, uh, 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 I drank liters and liters of coffee, tea, uh, cha cha, and wine. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> I think especially this uh, Soviet uh, Soviet type of housing was very interesting for me. So, and, and and of course the interior designs are very special in this type of houses. Like one woman told me, uh, uh, so I had a, I went to the if you if you see the book there are always uh, little, little description, descriptions of the families and so I did interviews with them and. Uh, I had a questionnaire, so uh, one of my questions was what, what was the last thing that you bought? So uh, one of the old women, uh, the one that's also exhibited over there, she's sitting on her sofa, she said uh, the last thing I bought uh, was my furniture in this apartment uh, in 1986. So, and, and that's kind of like a common interior design quality of, of all these apartments, like it's not modern IKEA, uh, you know, exchangeable uh, type of furniture. It's very, it's a little bit typical Soviet sometimes. And there's a lot of Soviet influence, but also of course a lot of Georgian things. So. The mood of the families are similar to the interior designs. The mood of the families are. Similar to, Similar to the interior design? Yeah, it's Higher, many families, there's old. a lot of, in many families, there's a lot of, like, it was, the past was better. 